As of July 17, 2024, Lake Mead's water level stands at 1,062.38 feet above mean sea level. This is a decrease of 2.5 feet since our last update. The water level peaked in early March and has declined by 14.5 feet since then. Currently, Lake Mead is 112 feet above its minimum power pool, but still 157 feet below its full pool capacity. June Statistics In June, 626,000 acre-feet of water was released from Lake Powell, which is located upstream from Lake Mead. As this water flowed down from the Glen Canyon Dam, it gained an additional 20,000 acre-feet from side inflows, such as the Little Colorado River and the Virgin River. However, 52,000 acre-feet were lost due to evaporation, resulting in a net inflow of 594,000 acre-feet into Lake Mead. Meanwhile, Hoover Dam released 948,000 acre-feet of water from Lake Mead in June. With inflows of 594,000 acre-feet and outflows of 948,000 acre-feet, Lake Mead experienced a net loss of 354,000 acre-feet of water for the month. Lake Mead started the 2024 water year on October 1, 2023 at an elevation of 1,065 feet 10 inches. The water level declined slightly in October reaching a low of 1,064 feet 7 inches on November 17th. Over the next three months, the water level increased by 12 feet, peaking on March 4th at 1,076 feet 7 inches. Since then, the water elevation has been on a steady decline. In June alone, the lake lost 354,000 acre-feet of water, resulting in a 4.5-foot decline in water levels. However, since July 1st, the rate of decline has slowed down. This is due to increased water releases from Lake Powell and reduced releases from Hoover Dam. Comparing current levels, the current elevation of 1,062.38 feet is 91 feet below the average for this time of year, which is 1,153 feet. The highest recorded water level at Lake Mead was 1,225 feet on July 24, 1983. In contrast, the record low was 1,040 feet 7 inches on July 28, 2022. Lake Mead's full pool capacity is 28.2 million acre-feet, but it currently holds only 8.585 million acre-feet, which is just 32.8% of its full capacity. Unfortunately, water levels are expected to continue declining in the coming months. Now let's head upstream to Lake Powell. This reservoir has also experienced significant changes. After a long winter decline, water levels began to rise in mid-April due to snowmelt. This rise continued into mid-May, with water levels peaking on July 9th at 3,587 feet. Since then, the levels have started to decline and are expected to continue falling until the next winter snowmelt. To get a complete picture of the water situation, we need to look at the entire Colorado River system. The system's total storage capacity peaked on July 7th at 26.3 million acre-feet, compared to 25.9 million acre-feet last year. This represents a modest year-over-year -year increase of about 1%. Warnings and advisories. Visiting Lake Mead and the Hoover Dam can be an unforgettable experience, but it's essential to stay aware of the risks. The National Weather Service has issued several warnings due to an ongoing heat wave affecting the Southwest United States. These extreme temperatures pose severe health risks particularly for those unprepared for intense heat. Additionally, the onset of the monsoon season brings the threat of sudden and intense thunderstorms, often accompanied by strong winds. The National Weather Service and the National Park Service regularly post warnings and advisories on social media platforms like Twitter and Facebook. This year, the Lake Mead National Recreation Area is on track to experience one of its most dangerous years on record making it crucial for visitors to stay informed and prepared. Thank you for joining us for this week's update on Lake Mead and the Hoover Dam. Remember to hit that like button and let us know your thoughts in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more updates and explorations. Stay safe, stay informed, and we'll see you next week on Exploration Earth.